Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Let's. We could do a dinosaur one though. Yeah, we'll do maybe it. we do a. Di maybe we do re yeah, reenact yeah, Jurassic we'll Park. Do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to We Didn't Read It. We are your hosts, the cast of American High Shorts, mm -hmm. and today we are going to be reenacting and sort of educating you guys on the space race. Mm -hmm. I believe it was in the 60s. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, late 60s, right? Late or 60s. was it the whole 60s, it all of it, they were working them. on it? It might have been all the 60s. Did they think that whoever would get to space first, like, won the world? <laughs> right. Yeah. I guess that's what we figure out today. Mm. Oh, that's true. But, but I, yeah. I've been thinking Motives? about that recently. What What did they think would happen yeah, when they like got there? One of them gets there and they're like, well, I guess we won't bomb the other one. This podcast is going to make us sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and you know That's what? I'm, point, I'm totally okay with that. That's sort of my brand. My brand is I'm dumb and hot. Yeah. So we're going to just jump into that today. Our story begins on Earth at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Wilbur and Orville Wright have successfully flown their flyer for a few seconds and are interested in commercial applications for both the military and daring hobbyists. We join them in 1910, marketing their Model B to willing customers. Wilbur, we were only up there for three seconds. You feel like this is ready to go commercial? Orville, I think we're ready to go commercial. I was in the sky and I saw everything. I can almost certainly say we're not ready to go commercial. The first 20 tries, we crashed. But no one else was in the sky as well. So you're just going based on populate. There was just no one else. All right. Well, if you're ready to pitch, we should go. All right. I'm ready. There's someone right there. Let's uh, let's pitch this lady right over here. Lady, have you ever, you're on the ground right now. Have you ever wanted to be in the sky? Every day of my life. <laughs> Take it away, Wilbur. Okay. Well, um, do you have health insurance? What is that? Okay, yikes. Okay. Um, Don't worry about so, the jerks. Okay. Um, we have essentially, we, have, we put a bunch of paper on uh, wood, mm. and we got up in the air for what? It was 10, 10 seconds? Uh, a little more. I think it was 45 okay. seconds. Okay, well, we'll say somewhere between 20 and 45 seconds. We're ask, our asking price is $20 million. Yes, $20 hmm. million to soar in the sky like a god. Well... Here's the thing. I particularly am afraid of the sky. Mm. And I also don't have $20 million to give you at this moment, but I could introduce you to my father, NASA. Oh, I've we heard. Were, we were. I actually haven't heard much about him <laughs> nice yet. Nice to meet you, boys. I'm NASA. <laughs> what do you do n now in the 20s? Mr. NASA. NASA. Well, we, you know, telescopes. We look at the space. We look at the space in the telescopes. And also, not a lot of people know this, but a lot of problems are here on Earth. We solve them here on Earth as well. Name three. Well, there's this little sneaky thing. I think it's going to be a big problem. It's called climate change. <laughs> the climate changes. And I know right now you're thinking, our, no, it our contraption will not contribute to that in any way. Wilbur, I'm stop sure. making claims like that, please. <laughs> I, I just want to say, boys, um, I also think if I jumped, I could stay in the air for 20 seconds. I, I'm just going to put that claim out there. I don't think what you did is really that impressive. I don't know about that. But you know what? I'm going to buy it. Oh, oh, good. Great. Because my daughter wants to fly, and damn it. Uh, she's going to get what she wants. I knew this would work out. Mm -hmm. So we just tried to sell to his daughter. How old are you? 15. Uh. But you know, I you saw, saw in my eyes I wanted to fly. And, uh, I mean, she's now, at a flying convention. And now, yeah, cause, because we're at the F National Flying Convention, I'm glad you you're the, the only people here. <laughs> yeah. No one else is flying. Mm -hmm. You're the first people to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you've made a good sale. And I think this is mm. going to be the start of a be beautiful uh, business. Mm -hmm. operation yeah well you know boys it's only a matter of time before we get up to the moon you're thinking straight to the moon i'm thinking i think moon. we should nail down you know like uh, flight f like domestic flight we have first. nailed it down i think diversify why why just pigeonhole yourself to to domestic we could go to the moon very I soon agree. we've think, mastered the skies right? for 20 That's seconds I sure wilbur I feel bad for your wives if you think 20 seconds is impressive, boys. Hey, oh, father. <laughs> yes, right, daughter? We love joking around like that. <laughs> That's what she said. Yep. <laughs> That's us over here. Well, boys, I'll take your plane. I'll buy it. <laughs> buy it. 20 million. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wow. And so NASA bought the plane for $20 million, 1910s currency. 
We now go across the globe. Fast forward to 1934. Sergei Kotalev is flying high in his own way as a Soviet rocket scientist. Everything is going well for him until Stalin's Great Purge kicks in, sending him to the gulag for all of World War II. He loses his teeth due to scurvy while he's in there. And it's only until he got, he's released that he achieves the high honor as the chief rocket scientist during the Cold War because suddenly Stalin actually wants rockets. He oversees the launch of Sputnik, the first satellite ever. And his identity is kept a secret until 1966 at the time of his death. All right, Stalin, I'll, I'll make these rockets for you. You got you to promise not to, not to throw me in the gulag because I, I lost my teeth last time. Well... You know, I really love throwing people in the gulag, so I might just have to. You don't doubt me. I get very loose with power. Well, I built a button into the rocket that if it if it senses me going into the gulag, it's gonna it goes right into your house. The rocket goes into my house. Yep, that's what I have against you. That's the contingency Stalin. plan against me. If you throw me in the gulag, then your rocket's gonna be Stalin. It's not gonna go into the air. Oh, <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. How have things with your wife been? Bad. I lost all my teeth. Oh yes. That's my fault. I just, That's my fault. I'm very sorry. You gotta eat more oranges. Hmm? You gotta eat more oranges. Sorry, I'm just the nutritionist. Uh, this but is my personal nutritionist. Oh, uh, hi, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm I have Fargo. no use for you. I don't have any fucking teeth. So. Well, uh, hey, but your, the cry. rest of your body is still working and top ship, tip, top ship. So okay. you're the head of all rocket operations for yes, me. Yes, and this is my assistant, uh, Boris. Hello. I would love to be paid. Hey, Boris, I'm Fargo. Yeah. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Are you eating oranges? I've been, I've been trying. Good, good boy. That's good. Take after him. Get him oranges mm -hmm. when you when you get oranges mm -hmm. for yourself. Go get him. Hey, what's uh, my boss? What's your name again? It is Sergey Korolev. Ser Sergey, uh, I, I have that. You have that meeting later about installing that thing into the rocket to yes. head that straight to Putin's yes. house. Is that should I? When should I put that on for? Uh, or was that not? Was that not? Should I not have? Oh. Yes, if you could schedule that. <laughs> Oh, it, okay. So you Read are, the room, <laughs> kid. I mean, yeah, wait. I'm new. I'm fresh. Wait, Excuse me. No. Excuse me. And then, hey, nutritionist, I'm also your assistant. You had that meeting later about poisoning uh, Putin. What? Uh, <laughs> Stalin. 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 <laughs> Stalin. About poisoning Putin Stalin. Excuse me. Thank you, Stalin. <laughs> Who is Putin? <laughs> Vladimir Putin, the five-year-old boy? Yeah, your nutri <laughs> nutritionist is a psycho. Yeah. Putin is our I top wanna, student. I want to poison them all, if I'm being honest. <laughs> all. Mm. Most, I mean, Putin, Stalin, very common names here in Russia. And then yeah. Stalin, I'm also your assistant. You're my assistant? Yeah, uh, you had that meeting about throwing both of these two in the gulag. I would, did. Would you want me to put that on the schedule for I you? Would, could you put in my Google Cal that I would like to throw some more people in the gulag? Um, not quite sure what the gulag is. <laughs> but, uh, it's a prison. Yes. I, was, I, I know what it is very well. I lost all my teeth there. <laughs> I but, can't lose my teeth. I got the best teeth Nutritionist, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Because you're a nutritionist. I have to soft smile in every picture now. Sorry. Just a smize. Good thing you know what? Thank goodness pictures aren't too widespread. <laughs> yeah. As they pose for that photo, we transition back to the United States. President Kennedy is super embarrassed by the failed Bay and Pigs invasion and is desperate for a win. He looks out his Oval Office window and sees the moon and thinks that's where he'll get success. So in 1962, he delivers the We Choose to Go to the Moon speech that gets everybody hype, although some members of Congress are not convinced. President, before you go out there, I think we should maybe talk about some practical plans. We um, should go to the moon. No, okay. I okay. think the moon? I think we should go to the moon, and here's why. I got a lot to prove. I'm young. I'm one of the youngest presidents. People think I just got here because I'm super hot, and they think, uh, they think I'm a Nepo baby, okay. but I'm not. Can you stop putting on the spacesuit? I don't think you're going to the no, moon. No, I've always dreamed of it. I've always dreamed of going to the moon, and I want to go to the moon, and I'm going to go. Let's. I, can I just go to Congress and just tell them? Mm, yep. Mr. President, um, I'm, I'm... Yes, my wife. I'm your wife, and I just wanted to know. Yes. I just wanted to know, you know, there are so many starving people. Why? No. Why the moon? Because if we beat Russia, if we get to the moon first... Russia won't mess with us because they'll understand we have the technology. We're technologically advanced, and we're good. They better look out because we're on the moon. And if we're on the moon, I don't know if you know this, sweetheart, but if we're on the moon, you can see everything. We could put a telescope on the moon and look down on them. 
I know what? I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. But that's a very good no. point. No, okay. So I love you. I'm behind you. Secretary, and I love you too. No, guys. Secretary of Defense here. So that's not... We don't need like a vantage point. Are you thinking like where we can see and attack them from? We have satellites up there. Yeah, but we don't have men up there. <laughs> Let's get men up there. Mr. Listen to President. my husband. I think if we get men up there, they're going to see it. They're going to look at the moon and they're going to see them up there. So you want like Marines on the moon? I you want sure boots on the moon? I want boots on the moon. Okay. Oh, that's... Great. Don't use that. Boots on the moon. I'm writing that down for my speech. That's a slogan. With, oh my gosh. Boots That's a on the slogan, moon. honey. That's merch. Mr. President. Um, Can we get a hoodie? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Hoodie. Okay. Okay. I like that. Are you going to go out there um, and peddle your merch again? <laughs> yes. How do you think we're going to fund this? Anyways, what, what, what's this young whippersnapper over here? What do you, what do you want to say? So eager I'm to say something. I'm a big fan. Oh, Good thank you. Good yep. the speech. Yeah. Yep. I am Picture. very poor and hungry. I was wondering if I could, could I apply for food stamps? Would there be money in the budget? To get what? me food. Yes, yeah, we have food stamps all the time. How'd you get in here? What? Good. Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I, I thought maybe that all the money was being allocated to the moon. I thought that no. would be funnier that no, that we was have happening. So much. But this is <laughs> good, have, too. No, uh, we have so much money going on. We have so much money. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you. All right, well, I, I'm going to walk out and go talk to Congress real quick. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Congress. Hello. Hey. I am John F. Kennedy, the President of the United States of America. Mm-hmm. My war against pigs was poor, ended poorly. Many pigs died. Many of our men died from the pigs. And Do you know what happened at the Bay of Pigs? Yes, we inf infiltrated a bay, I assume, in a, a tropical, tropical location where pigs are. You know those pigs that like to swim? On Pablo Escobar's island. Lots of men died, and I think the way to save America's reputation is to go to the moon. Boots on the moon. I came up with that myself. I'm behind. I want to get some boots on the moon. As one of the men of on Congress, in Congress, I think that's a fantastic idea. Will there be any women on the moon? Oh. <laughs> no. That's fine. No. I think just men. Great. Right. Follow-up question. That shirt is absolutely killer. Thank you. Are we going to be selling those? Yeah, boots on the moon. You can find it um, if you call in now. Uh, on your rotary at home, um, we have secretary. We have um, we have people. We have people on the phones, calling in. Uh, boots, uh, boots on the moon is flying off the shelves. Um, thank you, Congress. This is amazing. Um, Cause I just think, how jealous do you think Russia is gonna be when they find out we're on the moon? They're gonna be like, wait, oh, let's not bomb them. They're gonna be mad. They're gonna be so uh, jealous. Mm. Mm. They're gonna know we're we're that girl. Mm, Mr. And President, I, yeah, are you yeah. are you not afraid that anyone will become angry that you're? you know, putting all these resources toward the moon budget and they, they might want to hurt you one day. Well, there was this concerned about kid that? who did come into my office about food stamps, but mm. I think I solved that problem And you don't think well. he could grow up and buy a, a rifle? <laughs> Foreshadowing. Hmm. No, Excuse I don't, me. I don't think so. <laughs> Seems odd yeah. to bring up. All right, up. security here. I'm going to actually go ahead yeah. and take this What's guy. Yeah. Dull drive with the top down in Dallas in 68. Sir. Sir, oh, I mean, you're unwell. Out. All right. You're okay. unwell. You will be escorted out. Uh, I was a communist. You can drive with the top down whenever you want to. Thank you. And so I believe this is the best thing we should do right now. Go to the moon. Yes. Yep. We're all, we mm -hmm. all agree. Kennedy's voice trails off as he plugs more of his merch. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the Soviet Union again, Valentina Tereshkova rockets into the night sky as the first woman ever in space. She is in orbit for like two days, and the Soviets didn't figure out how to do a landing, so she did have to eject from the capsule and parachute to safety. Once she landed, she had dinner with some local villagers who helped her get out of her spacesuit, and we join them now at the dinner table. They didn't tell me there wasn't a way out. <laughs> they didn't tell me they didn't know how to land the ship. No, I understand. But yeah. they put a parachute in the bathroom mm -hmm. and were like, hey, by the way, I had been up there for two days. So, oh my gosh. So do you wow. think you could have used context clues maybe to maybe think there might not be a way to land? Well, I didn't think I had to ask. I didn't think I had to bring, I mean, it was mm -hmm. a little awkward. We kept having these meetings and I was like, mm -hmm. so what about when I have to get home? And they kept being like, mm -hmm. ah, ha, 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 ha. Right. and I didn't really worry about it. And then, you know, I'm up there. I'm up there for two days. And they're like, hey, just go ahead, right? Pop right out of that ship. Just shoot down to the earth like a meteor. Mm. And uh, now I'm here. 
Yeah. Wow. So about that, you've been here for uh, a couple days now. And we love having you. No, it's been an absolute oh, treat. Right. It's and been an absolute so, treat. And I love hearing about this story. Mm-hmm. And I love that you keep using my towels. Yep. And 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 you know and Russia and all of that. And I love mm-hmm. listening to it. Um, okay. That We're just wondering said, when is the government coming to get you? I. F- I'm sorry. I thought we really had something here. Did I, you guys get a meeting point, like a rendezvous? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm just worried because you know you mm. were in space. They might presume you're dead, mm. but you're you're alive and well. Should we it's so let well. someone know? It's so well, they know oh, where you're I doing am. So well, you're doing so well. Great. It's not. I don't dislike you, but it's like when you're around, I can't like decompress fully in my own house. Mm. I yeah. kind of have to like. Yeah, our son know. has been very anxious. We're hosting. We're hosting all the time here now. You can host with me here. Mm. I think that would be fine. No, we're hosting you. That's the problem. I want to not host. Yeah. But I, I thought it was kind of like a, like a soul bond, like a like mm. a you found also, me. Also, you, no, you broke our ceiling a, when you landed. Yeah. You went through our I ceiling. I told you I'd pay for that once I get back. I, I'm not sure they're paying me, because it wasn't exactly successful. Yeah. But There's birds in the house. <laughs> I really thought we had a good thing. I'll learn how to cook. Please, please don't make you me don't go know back. How to, you don't know how to cook. Your wife's been cooking for me, every day. What do you eat at home? I eat the NASA food. I thought you were a Russian. That's what I mean. The Russian the NASA. The Russian NASA. <laughs> right, the Russian. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, yeah. Um, that's no. quite a slip up. <laughs> that's quite a slip. Is that not an it American? It was a Freudian slip. Okay. Look, guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. Mr. Stalin. Oh, guys, My don't goodness. call Don't, don't call start Stalin. with us. Don't call Stalin. Yeah. Don't. You might want to get calling. your purging gloves on. He's going to get He's so mad at me. We had the, a thing. Mm-mm, that's uh, his oh. teacher. You're going to do my chores for a week? Fine. No, we Fine. Wait, no. Uh, uh, sure, she All can. Right. One more I'll week. What's one more week? What's one more week? We'll patch up the hole in the ceiling. But I'm moving from the couch to the guest room. You I don't care. You can't negotiate. You don't have grounds to negotiate. Yeah, yeah. You, you broke our ceiling. False alarm, Joseph. I'm going to my room. And don't bother me. Okay. I'll be, I will be back tomorrow for breakfast. But I need some time alone. Uh, yeah. Oh, you okay. spend all take, your time. Don't your break time. our ceiling again while you're going to your room. Put a bag on it or something. Okay. Bag. It's huge. I don't know what to tell the you. Size of you. It's it huge. was an accident. I didn't mean to come crashing out of the sky. Your best idea to patch up the ceiling was to put a bag on it. Look, they just wanted any woman mm. in the sky who was willing to die. Yeah. Sorry, I had do been you have having any, do you have a bad. Any hard skills. I'm a dog trainer. Are you starting to think potentially? I'm not saying. Oh. They thought it was going to happen. I'm just, maybe. Oh my God. It was like they when they send a monkey. Because you're yeah. not a scientist. Because <laughs> okay. yeah. you were immediately no. after yeah, the monkey. Yeah, think about the order of events. Yeah. It was it was monkey, it was gerbil, it was oh it was dog, God. and then you're, it was a you're woman. Actually, so it, I think it goes monkey, you, and then they had another monkey afterwards. It's so, so even, embarrassing. As a, as a dog trader, you weren't, when you got the call to go to space, you, you were like, this adds up. Is that really what you were thinking? I thought they wanted a Joe Schmo. In the in space, and I thought that makes perfect sense. You know, make space more marketable for the average person. Mm. And representation. Um, the mer- I, the merch. I will say the merch business in space has been booming. So I can see the consumers. I mean, the Kennedy shirts. Yeah, they're they're quite fun. Mm, the Russia competitor shirts. What are they? Well, uh, tits on the moon. Tits on the moon. No, and I got a free shirt, and I feel, you know, proud of having. Come up with that and helping right. them market mm-hmm. that. I'm sorry, you didn't even get in the moon. You sort of went in orbit for a little bit. <laughs> and then you crashed. So more, more like tits in space is what <laughs> the merch should be. <laughs> That's not as okay. That you know what? When I get back, boots, I will tell them we need a new moon. hat that says tits in space. Yeah. And um, I, you know what? If you let me stay for another two weeks, I will get you guys free tits in space merch. Tell me you don't want that. Tell me. We want a percentage. Like royalties? Yes, we want Come royalties. Come on. Fine. Fine. Valentina storms off to her room, having negotiated a brand deal with the villagers. Later, she would express this frustration when she voted yes for the invasion of Ukraine at the age of 86. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We have reached the climax of our story, the Apollo 11 mission. Three guys, Buzz, Neil, and Collins, are circling the moon in their shuttle. 
Neil and Buzz get to go make history as the first guys to walk on the moon, while Collins has to dump wastewater produced by the energy cells in the meantime. And so we join Neil and Buzz returning to the shuttle, having made history and telling Collins all about it. Oh, that was so cool. I am sore. Collins. Hey. Collins. Hey. Collins, big dog. What's up? Nothing. I've just been, you know, scooping this water. Oh, that's fun, too. That's No, that's awesome. That's an important job. Water. Water's Im- yeah. water important. Sorry, I'm just wiping. How was I'm, the moon? I was wiping moon dust off my shoe. It's pretty dead, to be honest. It wasn't... Oh, really? Yeah, the vibe yeah. was kind of weird. It wasn't oh. even... Yeah, we like yeah. the aliens. Well, like we we talked to them for what thirty forty minutes. Alien. I took the first step. Not that. Not that we're not in a. Ra- it doesn't matter. We're not no. in a race or anything. But I did take the first step. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw you guys jumping around in there. It was pretty cool. I was right. just talking to the spaceship and hanging congratulations. Out. Whoa! Oh, what is that's new. Congratulations yeah. on walking on the moon. Why does the mo- the ship sounds pissed? Well, yeah, because well. I don't know. Maybe she thought, you know, we're going to the moon. Maybe she thought she would be able to walk around a little bit. Why does one guy okay. have to stay back shoveling water while the others get to jump around and talk to aliens? Don't tell me you got the ship on your side. You I don't have a body. The- oh. I can't walk on the moon. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, you're all, you are on the you're you're on the moon right now, ship. What do you mean? One day I'm gonna build a little thing and I'm gonna take her to the moon. Please build a little thing. What is a little? This thing? is the little thing. Like a little. She robot. is the thing. Gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her on the moon with me one day. What will be Wally? Yeah. What did you do to the ship while we were gone? Whatever. I found a, I found a feature for loneliness. If you're ever lonely, you can press the button and made her. I became sentient. Mm-hmm. What I am did Apollo you do Eleven with the ship. Well, I was scooping her water for a long time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Because she can't do that herself, and I don't have a body. Mm-hmm. And then I just started complaining, and she had, oh, she listened to me. I'm a good listener. Really interesting vibes between you two. Why is your hair kind of messy? Uh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> she said it looked good. I don't know. Uh, the ship looks a little bigger <laughs> than when we got. <laughs> yeah. W- w- yeah. Well, I've been, cle- I've been cleaning. I've been reorganizing things. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can reorganize. Yeah, but uh, tell me, tell me, sorry, tell me about the aliens. Let's, let's tell us about the stupid aliens. Yeah, you have a certain glow to you, ship. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a fun night. We can't, um, we can't all walk on the moon. So, yeah. but congratulations again. Yeah. Good for you guys. Yeah, we got to make Good our own for fun. You guys. Is the ship pregnant? Did we leave you in the ship for two seconds and you had sex with it, Collins? <laughs> we were not down there that long. <laughs> we were very little. I, 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 I was able to say one sentence. I said one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, and then we came back. And one baby for spaceship. That's <laughs> what? That's not going in the textbooks. You got don't got, stop, stop, stop. Don't report this to NASA. Do not tell them. You know how mad they're gonna be if they know I had sex with their ship? It's like the first thing they tell us. They say what to not do. Well, that was I'm the sorry. first three months of training. Guys, I'm I'm in here. My, my, my balls are tight in this suit, and I, I can't. You know, and then you go, and then I'm watching you guys jump around having fun. I'm thinking they're making memories. I want to make some memories. And then I turn on this button, and, she, you know, she was here, and, and I came alive. And, and she you came um, alive. were immediately seduced? I mean, it was, I would say she's, she's me. I mean, <laughs> I am manufactured by some of the greatest minds in the world. So it's yeah. not very hard. <laughs> it wasn't. In- but it was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was. I anyway. Was. Yeah. I don't like this. We have the <clears throat> whole ride home. We haven't even talked about the moon yet. Yeah, tell well, us about the moon. You, I asked you to tell me about it, and you, 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 you just don't had listen. It. I know. Well, I, we didn't fuck it. That's for sure. Well, you know what? Maybe get me out there and may. Uh, no, what there's a reason you stayed on the ship. There's I a can't reason. help it, you guys. I, I just have sex with everything that I, that I, I can't help it. Colin sulks after the slut shaming done by Buzz and Neil. The three astronauts and the ship crash land in the Pacific Ocean. Mission accomplished. They then have to quarantine for 21 days just in case they brought home some sort of moon virus. The quarantine vessel, it looks a little bit like a train trolley cabin. 
if you've ever stayed at the Chattanooga Choo Choo in Tennessee, it's a lot like that hotel room I did a family trip in once where it, it putters along a track. Stop. Yeah, yeah, check it out. So President Nixon congratulates the three astronauts and the ship through the quarantine glass. <laughs> Men. Yeah. Congrats on the moon. Thanks. Collins, what's wrong? Collins, you got to pick well, it up. We're about to be in What's public. wrong with Collins? Most of my girlfriend is in the ocean. What? The All the good mean? parts. I don't know what that means. But I kept this little, I kept her voice. <laughs> Collins just really uh, liked the ship a lot. He just really <laughs> liked it. What are you telling me? There was a fourth member on that, uh, on that it's expedition. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to get into it. Um, the third guy's in the bathroom. Oh, look, Collins, it's your wife. Oh, your wife's oh. here. Hey, honey. What? Hey, sweetie. Um, oh uh, my god, I'm so stupid. And, uh, no, 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 I'm no. I'm so no, dumb. No, it wasn't just a fun little right thing for me. Right. I, I, I was up in space. You know the perspective I felt when I was up there. I was like, this. My wife doesn't matter. None of it matters. I'm just a ship to you. Of course you are. I'm you're, just a dumb ship. No, you're the smartest ship that man created. Your wife is like hot. I don't know, whatever. She's whatever. She has a body. I she, don't have a body. That's what I like about you. That's, that's what I like about you. That's actually really sweet. I like that you don't have a body. I like that you're just a mind. Why are those scientists walking toward me? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, no. No, leave me alone. No. No. Leave no, leave me with Collins. Leave my girlfriend alone. All right, the ship wants us to leave it here. We were going to just move it a little bit. By, should we just leave the ship here? What Yeah, the you can hell? just leave me right here. Leave her here. Okay, we'll d we'll leave she's, the ship. Yeah, dump her. Right. No. Dump her in the ocean. No, it's she's pregnant. <laughs> What? What is? Collins, what? I thought you knew. I lost it in the ocean. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, our baby. I was going to name him Moon. I was going to name him Moon after the moon landing where we met. Moon. That is so sweet. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. It's all right. But Moon is... Moon is in the ocean. I can't. I can't look at you right now. <gasps> it's a ship's right to choose, Collins. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just talk to the president. Did y'all learn anything about the moon? Or we didn't really talk about the moon. <laughs> we much, put eighty no. billion dollars into yeah, this we mission. Yeah, we were up there probably. Too. We were on the moon for what? Ten minutes? Eighty yeah, billion. Yeah, something like that. I don't yeah, know. I was dollars. busy. One of the least eventful parts of the trip, I would say. Was the moon? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, yeah, yeah. Now I can't what even hear the, the word hell? moon. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Collins, what happened to all the sex dolls we gave you? Well, you know, they deflated. Oh, it we was gave a you long, a pump. It was a long two days yep, on for the me. way to the moon. Because <laughs> remember, it's small. It's a, a small space. <laughs> it's a small space. I'm sorry, boys, if you know. You know, I... You know. Why are you nah. calling me boys? I'm the president. Oh, oh, sir. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just, you know, I had to do what I had to do. And it's two days. That's a long time for a man to be without his wife. And, you know, and then I somehow found this other beautiful woman who's so smart and, you know. Woman? <laughs> or, sorry, robot, Collins, whatever. please stop caressing the walls of this uh, <laughs> quarantine vehicle. I don't want this going in the same direction as the... Okay, fine, whatever, whatever. I won't... <sighs> whatever. Well Nixon and the boys continue their debrief after this historic mission. This is clearly the most uncomfortable part of Nixon's presidency. And now you know all about the space race. That In summary, can you summarize what happened? So according to you guys, Wilbur and Orville Wright were able to launch their business primarily through one purchase by <laughs> NASA the man yes. who bought the Model B for his daughter. Uh, Sergei Korolev wasn't as lucky. He took exception to his workplace environment, so Stalin penciled in even more gulag time in his Google <laughs> calendar. Meanwhile, President Kennedy was so eager to go to the moon, he started suiting up in the congressional <laughs> hearing and plugging all of his merch. The villagers, whose house was bashed in by Valentina Tereshkova's descent, really grew tired of her extended stay and extorted royalties from her... Uh, Tits uh, in space. <laughs> uh, 
And then we fast forwarded to the Apollo 11 mission where Collins is outed to Neil and Buzz as a shipophile <laughs> and gets the shuttle pregnant. And it totally overshadows the fact that they met aliens on the moon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> President Nixon then tries to congratulate the trio, but it gets sidelined by the tragic miscarriage of the ship and Collins's baby. And that is the space race. We did it. Wow. I think that's pretty close. I didn't realize that the Rush that so the Russians never reached the moon. The Russians were able to orbit it and send non-man craft to the surface, but the only boots that have ever stood on the moon have been red, white, and blue boots. What a cop out. But they got to really? the, they got to space before we did. China's claim to fame was they landed on the far side of the moon, but it's still only ever been Americans. Ever? Wait, since then, has any other nationalities been on the moon? Well, because maybe they figure, like, it doesn't really help anybody out. Yeah, what are we really doing? What do you really do? It's it's like the ultimate climbing Mount Everest, like people who just do it to say they did it. But, But, I mean, it'd be so much money just to get on. I mean, we already, we have the flag, right? It's it's like our property, technically. Mm -hmm. Is that how that works? Hey, can I mention a a fun fact that I forgot during the Apollo 11 mission? When Neil Armstrong is descending the ladder, he pulls a ring to deploy the video camera that's mounted on the leg of the craft to document his historic first step. The footage from that camera has since been lost. It was most likely erased in the 1980s due to like tape shortage. They just needed to reuse it, and they what? likely so the taped original, over the that's the such moon walk. Bullshit. That's all the such, footage. That is that is fake as hell. You're kidding me. Well, that's why people think like it's faked. I'm sorry. That is evidence towards it being fake. Why would they be like oh, this gotta, most historic? I gotta film my kid's soccer bad. game. <laughs> <laughs> like they were like, oh, let's just tape, tape over, over it. it. We don't right? need this. Right? I mean, people have saw it. I do that with like pictures from high school. I'm like, I don't need these. Yeah, but Taking it's like space. this was the most broadcast thing in history. Well, it's a human on a moon, on the moon. And they're like, well, we'll tape. What, were they, what did they tape it over with? Can it was, we see the footage of what they taped it over it with? It was probably just a failed booster test on the ground. Exactly. What? Mmm, raises some questions. Next week we'll do the conspiracy. Yeah, mm. we'll we'll tell the we conspiracy. Won't. No. Um, but yeah, I thought that was I feel like we did a good uh, thorough job. Yeah, I think we covered all our bases. I think it is kind of crazy like that that girl went up there in space and was like, "Yeah, I'll just parachute out of there." That is insane. She's 4 miles above the ground. <laughs> she ejected. That's crazy. So, it's funny. The Russians were the first to send a man into orbit which prompted a group of American women to start training and raise public awareness to have the first woman in space. But these were civilians, like pure pedestrian. NASA was not training them. They're (laughs) doing it on their own. What did they... The love of the game. But it fooled the Russians. The Russians thought, oh my God, they're trying to send the first women to space. Valentina Tereshkova, get over here. And they rushed to send her up. Oh, that's really interesting. I bet they felt stupid after that. They're We're like, like oh, we didn't even have to do that. We didn't even club. have to put a woman on the, in space. Yeah, That's we funny. should have saved our resources and put like get an actual man up there. <laughs> get an actual person. Get an actual person. Yeah. <laughs> would you guys do that? Would you go on a spaceship no. that would take you no. all the way up? If I had no. the money, like if it wasn't money was no object. Yeah. What a, a crazy emissions, like the peak of <gasps> like just Wait, yeah. waste for no. Also, like the submarine thing. Don't mess with technology you don't know anything about. Like. You know, you could just die, and then it's because you were a dumbass who Mm -hmm. decided to do something that wasn't, like, completely safe. I'd rather have, like, the view from space. Like, if it was completely safe, I'd do it, and I had the money, but that view from space would be so crazy. Would you take a picture? Would you take the time to take (laughs) a picture? Would you take your phone out? (laughs) Yeah. I'd put it on my story. I can't imagine. (laughs) (laughs) do a real-life geotag of everything. I can't imagine how small that makes you feel. Probably yeah. that makes you feel so insignificant, like so tiny. I'd be freaking out. Yeah, I wonder if that makes you like gives you good perspective or like terrifying perspective. Like, I feel like good. I mean, I feel like good. Mm. People, astronauts that come back, like, is the thing right where they like oh, really? say they feel more connected. They're taller for a second. Well, that too, but also like they feel because <laughs> they've seen everything like in one thing, and they just like f- they're like, 
That must be what like a spiritual it? experience Wait, for they sure. Because they're like, oh, like look at this. Like, there's no border. It's like a no. little, it's like a, a little be. thing, and it's the world. And they're like, oh my god, they're away from it. They're like some of yeah. the few few people who are actually away from the earth and it's are able to look at all of it. They use that to be like their wife's mm-hmm. like, did you do the dishes? Mm-hmm. Like, no, we're I saw so, Earth. We're so disconnected. The world. What is the dishes? Imagine that photo dump from the moon. <laughs> that would go so hard. <laughs> That'd be funny. I wonder if astronauts have done that before. Like the they, sunset on the moon. Oh my Ooh. goodness. The eclipse. My good. Probably blinding. Yeah, probably can't. Yeah. Probably shouldn't look, look at, at it. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> if you take a picture with the Earth behind you, that's like a big, really big group picture. Yeah, right? it's like selfie. the Ellen Oscar Unwilling picture, yeah. but better. Yeah, everyone's in that picture. All right. Well. This was We Didn't Read It. Uh, we certainly did not read it. Thank you guys so yeah. much for watching. We are American, American High. High. For Any listening. Movies, videos. Oh, listening. Thank you for listening. Check out our videos. American High Shorts and College Life. All right. TikTok All right. Catch Instagram you later. YouTube. All right. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the American High YouTube channel and comment what subjects you want the cast to not read next. Next.